Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This announcement calls for large group participation. If you can answer any of my questions, I want you to raise your hand like this. How many of you remember the date, November 4th, 2008? How many of you remember the day America's first African-American president was elected? As to you. Ah, for me and many, that was a great day. A day that few in this country thought they would ever see. How many of you, if you could, actually took part in this historic moment and voted. What a period of pride and accomplishment, right? We even elected him for a second term. Oh, but we know the tough times Mr. Obama has had during most of his presidential years. Why? Because he's had to work with the two houses of Congress that we, the people, elected for him. And one, the House of Representatives with a Republican majority is bent on tearing down any and all of the president's plans for a better America for all people. You may say, well, I didn't vote for them. But did you know, ladies and gentlemen, that representatives are elected every two years and senators every six years, which means there are elections between presidential elections when very few of us even bother to go to the polls to vote. And not voting is a vote for the opponent. And this is one of those years, November 4th, next month. Many in both houses of Congress in every state of the union are seeking election and re-election. Right now, the House of Representatives already has a majority and can deter many of the president's plans. But he's also in danger of losing his majority support in the Senate. Yes, if the opposing party wins six seats in the Senate, just six seats, the president's hopes and plans might all but be destroyed. That means just six states with the lowest voting turnout may just turn the tide completely against the president. And in Virginia, the decision depends on you and me. We must do our part. We must not be defeated because we didn't get out and vote. If we lose, we did our part. But if we win, we will allow President Obama a chance for a more productive presidency. But again, this calls for a large group participation. This calls for you to step up and do your part. Oh, but there's one other big problem. Instituted just this year by the opposing party requiring picture ID in order to vote. Many of us may not have driver's license or passports or student IDs or any picture ID. But we can't let that stop us. The registrar's office in your city can provide you with free picture ID for voting. Thank you. Just remember, my friend, whatever it takes, vote.